Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on a behalf of CCTV desk, we come up with new video. This video is all about a very important PC app. So today we are discussing about Lorik Cloud for PC. Basically in this video, we are going to discuss with you that what is Lorik Cloud for PC? What are its features and functions? Then we'll tell you that how you configure the app to make the camera live and able to access all its features. So keep watching till end. Please like, share our video and subscribe to our channel. So by using this app, you are able to access live view of the camera. Not only live view of the camera, but you can see the multiple channel at a time. You watch the recording of the cameras. You take the snapshot of the video. You control the PTZ camera, you save the live view of the camera, you can adjust the image parameter like brightness, color, etc. And you can also take a backup of the recorded videos and many more. So to download and install Lorix Cloud for PC app on Windows OS, we have to take the help of Android emulator. This app is not given for Windows OS. First, we download BlueStack on Windows and with the help of it, we download and install Doric Cloud on PC. So let's start. First thing you should do, you should click on the BlueStack 10 and I will make a separate video on how you install BlueStack on Windows OS. I will give link in the description. You can watch the videos. So just double click on this BlueStack 10. This is the interface of the app. Now just click on the app layer. And just click on the system apps and click on the play store now search for lorex After that, click on install. When you click install, it start downloading first and after that it start installing. Then do complete all the process. This is totally automatic process. You don't need to click anywhere. Let the process to be finished. Now it is installed and you would find the option open. Just click on open. And one more thing I would like to discuss when it is installed, you find the Lorex icon on the desktop also like this. Okay. So you, you can open the Lorex cloud from, from this icon also and from here also. Just click open. So this is the interface of the app. Just click allow access and just click I have read click submit. Now this is the interface of the app or the first thing you should do you should click on this plus button and here you find that plus button so just click on this plus button and here you find the dvr nvr ip camera 
or Wi-Fi camera setup. So if you want to connect with a DVR NVR IP camera, just click on this DVR NVR IP camera and here you find uh, many things like register mode device ID and IP domain. So if you want to connect with a uh, register IP address, means if you want to access remotely, then you should click on device ID, otherwise you, you should click on the IP domain. Okay. So device ID, where you, did you get device ID? For that, you should open your DVR and VR and go to the network option. Over there, you find the device ID and over there, you find also an IP domain. Okay, so basically the difference between these two is that if you want to access remotely anywhere, then you should click device ID. Otherwise, you should click a domain, IP domain. Let's click on IP domain and here, here you should put any name that you remember. For example, I just make a video for education and purpose. So I just put any name that I test. Here I should enter a and here is the port number and admin is the username and here you should enter the password of the device. Please don't be confused. It is a username and password of the device. Device means NVR, DVR, whatever you are adding. And here you find the live view in the substream or a playback in substream. You can you can choose according to your need. Let's click connect. When you click on the connect, you find the camera comes live on the screen. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day.